Hi, this is one of those videos where you only see my hands and in this video I will try to replace the batteries in this APC UPS and the procedure is fairly similar with most models that look like this the, the, this line, this series, I'll put all the information in the video's description so at the back there is a battery connection that you need to unplug and see if we can pull it out I, i'm not sure what the official procedure to do this is uh, apc says to not replace these on your own but i will do this do this now this is uh, this is unplugged and now i've pulled this out to keep it from suddenly accidentally engaging that's the first thing to do now i need to take it apart and i have three oh sorry sorry two four and five cross phillips uh, head screws and i need a long blade screwdriver this is phillips 2 and this hole is just about seven millimeters in diameter so if your screwdriver is not wider than seven millimeters you will be able to do it and you need at least more than 10 centimeters of blade so 15 or more centimeter long screwdrivers are required in order to disassemble this and i will now put it let's try to unscrew this too it's also phillips 2 only smaller i will put it on its back at the cost of not really being visible in the camera but i can put it was here is the the bolt i hope you can see it in the camera this is the smaller bolt the one that stands in the front section and now we will try to pry this open and then pull this off there are several two notches here i hope you can see it in the camera and i need to pry this off from this so let's see about how to get that done okay it goes without saying that my warranty is probably void when i do this okay i managed to pry this off it's uh, very very difficult to pry it off from the top and from the bottom and uh, highly impractical get close to the battery so here is what it looks like I can after a lot of hassle move this aside like this and here is the where the battery is held and there are four more Philips two bolts that are keeping it in place so this is the, the front section the top and so I, have to, I managed to pry this out with practically brute force Maybe they have uh, special tools for opening this and maybe I'm stupid just, that's okay. And hope to learn a better way and now I can just pull this over and the side. It's hanging by these cables and now I will try to unscrew the, the bolts that are keeping it. together okay 
four smaller bolts. Here we go. On this side, there is the, the red, the plus contact that I should be able to disengage. Okay, it's disengaged. And now, okay, pulling them out. This is a loop and this is the negative. The negative connection. Okay, so that's how they go. The, the red one is towards the top, the way this is. This stands, okay. And this is the, the loop that connects them, the two. So it works with two 12 volt batteries for a total of 24 volts. And they even glue them together with something. Let's try to pry them apart without breaking anything. Okay, I've managed to disconnect them from each other and these are 7 amp hour batteries too. That's how they came from the factory but the current recommendation, pun intended, is for 9 amp hour batteries and so these are the the exact model, hope you can see it in the camera. And I got a replacement. Here are the replacement batteries. Same dimensions, everything looks similar. So they will fit and these are 9 amp hours. These are cost a fraction of the price of the, the original batteries and we will see how they fare, but I did not want to pay the the regular price for the for the original batteries. That looks like a, a robbery to me. How do I connect this? We have this loop that goes from from one minus to the opposite plus. So we have one connection and another connection and it's positive connection and let's do another thing this is 12.84 okay and the other battery 12.84 and the old battery is 13 volts 11 point5. Okay, so one of the two is apparently dead for some reason. Maybe it's uh, from the heat. And if you make sure to remove dust from this, it, it should be dust free and it should not be in direct sunlight and things like that. And in that case, batteries will last longer. Okay, so now we can put this back together, back inside. Let's see about my, my hack. Looking good, feeling good, okay. Now, the first thing to do is to try and connect the, the negative one here. And then, okay, it's connected. And then plunge it back in. As it was before. Okay. It's back in and now the, the positive side connection okay now they are both plugged in and now I need to replace this bracket that holds them in place
Okay. So a bit of brute force. I'm sure there are tools for easier prying this, but and and techniques, but I didn't commit to anything like that. Okay. this back in all the way in okay this is some flimsy plastic and let's plug it in to see if it works okay we should be able to turn it on so good, if not, then it's not. Okay. It should start charging now. And now we will test if it if it works. I'm gonna put some small load on it. Okay, the batteries should be charged after a while and now I will try to unplug it to see if it will hold and still work. So we still have power from the UPS and it's unplugged now. Okay. Back, in, back online. Looking good. That's the whole video. I'll test it and if it doesn't work, work, add comment in the video description. Thanks for watching. Stay cool.